Hello guys. Hi Jagveer Singh is here with another video of SolidWorks 2018 and today I will show you how to offset a plane in SolidWorks. So let's get started. So I already have a pre-made sketch which is sketch 1. In our case it is basically a center rectangle that I have made just to demonstrate how can we offset a plane whenever we need and I will show you like how we can modify the plane and also some other features that might be essential for you while using SOLIDWORKS in future. So right here we can click reference geometry and we have different options. So today we are going to work with plane. So there we have three references that we can use in order to make a plane. We choose the first reference and under the part tree we go and let's say I choose top plane and you can see that the very simple offset of the plane that we can do is basically like offsetting the plane and we can also change the direction if we want to we can click on flip offset and, it, and uh, that is the way by which you can specify the side on which you want the plane to be either at the bottom or at the top. There's also an option for mid plane. You can choose and it's basically going to give you the intersection or splitting of that particular plane. In this case we chose the top plane and it's going to cut the top plane into half 50-50 in ratio. Well, I would still stick to offset, flip offsets just to get back so first reference the top and the second I'm going to well we can do it again I will show you what it was trying to do so the top first and then right here we can flip the sides whenever we want to what we can what else we can do is we can also specify the variation the distance from the plane that we want to offset from let's say 30 and one of the best part is we can have number of planes to create we can have four to five planes that we want to in this case we choose five planes and I click OK so five planes are created at equidistance which I, I guess we kept it to be 30 so so yeah this is one way of just simple offsetting of the planes. What we can do is we can also make offset from the plane on a particular point if needed. You can simply click on the point and then we can make a plane at any point that we need. So this is another way. We go back to the plane under the part tree. We can choose any plane that we want. And just to play around, it's always better to know and understand the software by playing around and try to grab the concept of how it works. So, second reference, you can keep it as right plane if you want, but it's going to show an error for the same reason because. We are trying to intersect two planes which are uh, perpendicular to each other. So rather than right plane, try to do a front plane. That's the same scenario. Because you cannot choose two planes that, that are perpendicular to each other. So let me try something else. For the same, what I did was, I made another sketch which is basically a point that I created right here. You can see it on the screen now let me try creating planes so for, so for the first reference I'm going to just pick top and then I can choose different different axes so let's say I'm going to choose so let's say this point I think it might show an error okay right here this is the first point that we choose and this is the second point that we chose 
is showing an error because what we are trying to do is we are going trying to offset a plane that we are asking it to generate from this particular point till this point which is contradicting our plane that we are looking to make in order to have the plane right we need to make sure that the plane is perpendicular to the surface that we want to, uh, sorry, the plane is parallel to the surface that we want to offset. So we choose the front plane. So now what we can do is we can choose this particular point. At the same time, now I can choose this point as my third reference. And see, we can see that it created one slanted plane at a particular angle. So this is how we can offset various planes at different different angle if we are ever asked to make. But usually we are going to work with the first two types that I showed, simply offsetting the plane. Or if you ever need, you can offset a plane at two points just I showed you right now. So that's pretty much it for this video. In next videos, I will show you how to use other features in SOLIDWORKS. And do not forget to subscribe my channel and like, plus share the video with your friends. And also, if you ever need any help, just let me know in the comment section. I would love to help you guys. Thank you so much.